channel. I'm gonna bring you guys along for Easter weekend with me. I did this last year and I really loved it and I know you guys did too. So I was like, I need to vlog this weekend because typically I forget to vlog holidays and things because I just wanna enjoy the moment. But I love being able to look back on it. Like I wanna watch last year's Easter video, either today or tomorrow. I feel like that'd be really fun to see just how many things have changed because so much has changed. My niece is so much bigger. We went to Nashville last Easter to stay with Kyle and Hannah because that's where they lived and now they live here in Knoxville and we lived in Atlanta and now we live here in Knoxville. Just a lot has changed, which is crazy and very exciting all at the same time. So here's the plan for the weekend. Today's Saturday. So today I'm going to go shopping for an Easter dress. Do I need one? No. Do I want one? Maybe, we'll see what I can find. If I can find a good deal or something cute, I just feel like it's always fun to have like a special occasion to dress up. And then I also need to get groceries for what I'm bringing for the Easter gathering tomorrow. So I think I'm gonna do, I know I need to make mac and cheese and Brussels sprouts, which mac and cheese, homemade mac and cheese is a challenge. We'll talk about this later, but I've got research to do to figure out how to make a good mac and cheese. And then tomorrow we'll be going over to Kyle and Hannah's for an Easter brunch. I actually don't even know what time it is, but we're going over there tomorrow after church. So I'll bring you guys along for the weekend and it will be super fun. My mom's on her way here now and we're gonna go shopping together because I texted her and was like, do you wanna go Easter dress shopping with me? And she was like, sure. So that's what we're gonna do today. I'm gonna bring you guys along. Little OOTD, I'm pretty sure I was wearing this like very similar outfit in my last vlog. Um, I'm really loving a white tee under a sweater recently. I feel like it's very spring because I can just like take this off. Tied around my shoulders if I get hot and then I paired it with my white jeans and some sandals. So this little white tee under my sweater is from Free People and this sweater, I wear it all the time, but I got it like when I was in college, probably three years ago from H&M, but I feel like they make a same variation every year. And then my white jeans are from Madewell and these sandals, I have no idea where they're from. Honestly, I don't love them with this outfit, but like I mentioned in my last vlog, I lost my Birkenstock sandals last summer and so I actually ordered a new pair because I wear those nonstop whenever it's warm out. I wear them with everything. They're my favorite. And this bag is from Paris 64. I feel like it looks very French, a very French outfit, and I love it. All right, let's go shopping. shopping and I'm a little sad I didn't find anything we went to Marshall's J crew loft I also helped my mom pick out some paint while we were out because she's gonna redo one of the rooms in their house um, so I just got back and I think we are gonna go over to Great and Emily's tonight because um, our friends are in town so I think we're all gonna go hang out there have a bonfire and stuff but I still need to grocery shop and figure out the recipe for what mac and cheese I'm gonna do for tomorrow so I need to think that through if you guys know how hard, at least for me, making homemade mac and cheese is. I feel like my cheese always turns gritty and like not super creamy. Like Panera's mac and cheese is just delicious. So maybe I should try like a copycat recipe of that. I feel like cream cheese is what I need to make it super creamy. I made mac and cheese for Thanksgiving and it just turned gritty and I hate that. And it was on a low heat, like I've looked into it and sometimes it's just the cheese that you buy. So I'm gonna do some research, watch some videos and see like how to prevent that and maybe find a really good recipe. And then I also need to get Brussels sprouts and I need to figure out timing of everything. I don't even know what service we're gonna go to tomorrow. Our church is having like a 7.45, a nine and maybe a 10.30, maybe. And then I figured out lunch is at 12, it is a lunch. I was like, is it lunch, dinner? I've got no idea. So we'll head over there around noon. Maybe we'll go to the early service. I don't know, we'll see. But I think we're gonna head to Great and Emily's tonight, eat dinner there and have a bonfire, which is really fun. I feel a little stressed that I'm putting off this whole planning dinner thing and getting the groceries for it, but I guess we'll just go on our way back home. We'll see. All right, we're making the rounds. We're picking up food because... <laughs> Sorry. We're making the rounds because none of us could agree on what we wanted. So boys are getting Chipotle and us girls are getting fried chicken. And ain't that just always the story. It is always Nobody the story. Nobody can agree on anything. I've been obsessed with these milk 
um, lip oils. Um, I just throw them in my car, but I wish that they had more pigment to them. I feel like my Typology lip oils actually have pigment that lasts a while. These just like feel good. Anyway, I don't know, I just thought I'd mention that. I'm also bringing Emily a little trial pack of my AG1 and Grant. I've been AG1 obsessed. I can't even explain how much I love it. Like I am. Why do you love it so much? Okay, because it's unexpectedly delicious. Like I did not expect it to taste as good as it does. And I do feel like I feel more energized and I don't know. I just, I love it. And energized, not like it's an energy drink, but more that like my body feels like it's fueled properly. so late we stay later than we thought but it was so fun i didn't want to leave but we got to get groceries it's and all the, the things it's the crew man but i'm excited to see all the easter stuff because i really haven't looked at anything did you get me an easter basket <laughs> i'm just kidding i know he did your mom would take care agents of the other beyond gravel beyond Morning and happy Easter. We have had a bit of a rushed morning because my phone, I plugged it in, but I didn't realize my plug wasn't plugged into the wall. And so my phone died and I did not get up as early as I was hoping because we are going to the 745 service. I don't think I've ever been to church so early. So it's currently 720 and we are about to head out. I don't have any makeup on because I'm just gonna do my makeup in the car. But I want to give a quick OOTD because I love this dress. I didn't find a dress yesterday, so I just have this like sweater over top. This is the dress. It's actually from ThreadUp and I love it. I think it fits beautifully. It has like a little tie in the back. I think it's from a brand called Faithful The Label. I just curled my hair and added some hoops and then these shoes are from Dolce Vita, but I got them from Nordstrom Rack. Honestly, deals on deals with this outfit. I grabbed this sweater. This is like my favorite like fancy sweater and it just has like a ton of hearts on it. And I feel like it just goes really well. It's actually pretty warm today. Um, so whenever we get back, we'll make some food together and then we'll go celebrate with the family. Good morning, happy Easter. We're back from church. We've actually been back for a bit. It was really weird getting out so early. It's currently 9.45, so I have about an hour and 15 minutes to prep all of the food for Easter lunch, which I'm excited for. So like I said earlier, I'm making Brussels sprouts and pasta. So I will let you know if this pasta recipe turns out good, or pasta, macaroni and cheese. So we'll see, who knows? But we're gonna do a quick house tidy. The kitchen's kind of a mess. I'm gonna get cooking, and then we'll bring you guys along for Easter. Easter's one of my favorite holidays. It's weird, today doesn't really feel like Easter to me. I don't know why. I feel like maybe because I was always like traveling for Easter and we're just like at home, chilling, like we went to church together. I don't know, do you feel that? It is Easter in my head. It's Easter in your head. That's funny. All right, I'm gonna get to cooking and then we'll head over to Kyle and Hannah's.
All right, Brussels sprouts are in the oven. I made the mac and cheese and I am proud to say it's not grainy and it tastes delicious. I'll put the recipe I used down below, but of course, per usual, I changed a few things. So I added extra heavy cream and cream cheese to make it like extra creamy, but it's delicious. I just tried it. It's very, very good. So I think we're about to leave here. We have a few minutes and the Brussels sprouts aren't done. We probably have to leave here in like 10 minutes, but I realized that I never gave you guys like, not that I'm gonna give you a sermon synopsis, but what we thought about church. It was so good. Oh, hey. Hey. Yeah, it was good. I feel like Easter is a common holiday for people to go to church that like go to church once or twice a year, mm. you know? And so I feel like you always hear the resurrection story and the gospel, which is amazing. I think the gospel should be shared every single Sunday. Um, but I really liked that this week, or I guess this year, he talked and kind of focused on heaven and like mm. where we have our hope and how that just makes everything seem so minuscule today. And it was just super encouraging that we have better days ahead. You look like you have no neck at all. Mm -hmm. No, it was really good and to echo what you were saying, thinking about heaven. I think it's not something that we do common or that, that we do enough day to day because we don't know when we will be there. We don't know when Jesus is coming. And so it's hard to set your mind on, on that, but that's what we are called to do. That's what we're encouraged to do. That's what we're able to do through the spirit that lives in us. So, mm -hmm. And I feel like whenever we see the gospel fully in our day, like how could we not? You know what I mean? Like I feel like whenever I'm not thinking about heaven is when I'm like so entangled in the world. Yeah. You know? Like, because if I believe the gospel to be true, if I believe that I've fallen short of the glory of God and that Jesus came, fully God, fully man, sinless, yet died a sinner's death, raised again. And if I put my faith in him, then I can stand before God clean. And all I have to do is believe that he was who he said he was and live for him. Like, why would I not think of heaven more? You know, like, I don't know. It was, it was very sobering for me and it was very good and much needed. And I pray that all the people that were there that maybe go to church once a year really encountered the Lord and like desire to know Jesus more, to like dedicate their life to him. Or if you're hearing this, that you would feel that way as well. Yeah, he's risen. He's risen indeed. I miss <laughs> that. The guy, like the pastor said I, that. I, I miss that opportunity. I think it's a very like, correct me if I'm wrong, but I feel like it's kind of like a Baptist thing. Is it? I don't know. Anyway, happy Easter. We're about to leave. Does anybody else bring a change of clothes to family events? Because I do. Wait, why didn't you tell me? <laughs> Go get them. I just grabbed it. Oh my gosh. Happy Easter. Ooh, lost the rug. Hi, Nico. Truck. We're gonna head down to the pond and go fishing. And there's Kirk driving. So we've had to dig for worms. We'd use a hammer and a piece of tile from the car. Mm -hmm. 